Hey guys, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. It is that time of year again where I talk about my one little word plans for 2019. So I am keeping all of my supplies in this 12 by 12 case from Michael's. Funny story, I went there to pick up the iris ones and I could have sworn that I double checked and triple checked all the boxes to make sure that I only got the iris brand ones. But alas, I came home with a recollections one. So I'm gonna use this one to hold all of my supplies, which I will kind of get into here in just a moment. But my word for 2019 is joy. Um, yeah, so I'm going with joy this year. I figure last year I learned, you know, with my word of progress that I find what I focus on and I really feel like I could really use some joy in 2019. So hopefully if I focus on finding joy, I will find it. So. That is my word for the year. Let me know down below in the comments what your word for 2019 is. But like I said, I wanted to share with you guys kind of my plans and supplies that I plan on using as I work through this project this year. So I was thinking about doing another album, but towards the like last half of the last year, I found that got kind of overwhelming and hard to keep up with and I had a lot of catching up to do. So then my next thought was doing like a small traveler's notebook, kind of in the same style that I did my October daily a couple of years ago, which if you've not seen that video, I will link it down below. So I was thinking of doing that, but then I kind of got on this whole memory decks kick and I was talking to my friends about it and I was like, well, it'd be really cool to do it in the traveler's notebook because it's very low maintenance, but it'd also be really fun to do it in a memory decks box. And they all told me basically, do whichever one will bring you the most joy. That's your word. Go with whatever will make you happy. So I'm gonna do it in a memory deck. And I think that will be a lot of fun. So I picked up this box from Amazon. I think they're also on scrapbook.com, but I got mine from Amazon. And it is just the, whatever, the gold and white seven and a half inch long one. Um, I know Heidi Swap came out with like a Joann's exclusive one that is more of a square shape and it's black and white stripe, which would also be amazing. But I wanted to have a little bit more room just in case I wanted it. So I'm gonna be using this to hold all of my cards. And then all of my supplies are in here. So let me move this aside and we can kind of walk through what I plan on using. So like I said, I'm going to be using this memory decks box to create cards for every month. So some months there might just be one card. For January, there will probably be multiple cards because there's kind of a lengthy prompt process for January. But I figure this little box gives me plenty of room if I want to add more cards or anything like that. So that is the plan for the box. I will be creating my own cards um, using a combination of scrapbook papers as well as probably journaling cards because I have a ton of them and I did do a video on how to turn journaling cards into memory decks cards so I will be using some of my journaling cards as well cross my fingers hope to use a lot of them <laughs> uh, but I was looking through my papers and all of my scrappy crafty supplies and I really had the itch to get like a new collection or something that I hadn't worked with um, just because it's kind of exciting and fun. But then I was like, Danny, you have plenty of stuff. Just go through what you have, find something that makes you happy, makes you smile, brings you joy, and just use that for now. It's totally fine. So um, I was flipping through my 12 by 12 paper pads and I saw my Happy Place one by Dear Lizzie. So I'm going to be using this, I think. And look at all these fun patterns. So this paper pad, you know, I've used a bunch of it up already. So it would be nice to make a dent in this. But I figured this would be good kind of year round. I live in California, Southern California, so it's warm here pretty much all year round. So I feel like these aren't really out of place for where I am. Um, so even though it's very kind of summery and stuff, I feel like that's fine. So I have this. Um, I know that I do have a lot of the Happy Place collection papers in my scrap bin too. So if I need to go there, I can. And I mentioned that I will be trying to use up some of the journaling cards. So I pulled out like a bunch of the four by six ones that I have in my stash from this Project Life kit because I loved this collection so much. I had to get the huge freaking core kit. <laughs> Why, I don't know. So I have a ton of journaling cards. I also have a bunch of three by four ones that I can grab if I need to. But I like these larger ones because I can make larger 
memory decks cards, like four by four ones or whatever. So I just pulled out these. I like that there's room, you know, for journaling on the back and stuff. So I'm gonna try to use up some of these. So we shall see how that goes. And then what I did was I also, <laughs> because I love this, this collection so much apparently, um, I also have the digital collection. So if there's papers I don't have or whatever, I can always print them off, it's fine. So what I did was I went through the digital elements the digital kit and I printed off several many many pages of them and then I spent a couple of evenings you know just kind of watching tv or whatever just during my downtime um I spent them trimming out cutting out little digital whatever element ephemera die cut things so I have a ton in here I went kind of crazy but I'm okay with it <laughs> So I have a lot to work with, so hopefully I won't have to print off more for a while. Um, but yeah, I thought this would be fun. So I've got all those. And then because I was so good at using up a bunch of my Happy Place stuff last year, I don't really have any stickers to go with it. Um, so I kind of had to go through my stash and see what I had. So I think these are from, these went with the Happy Place collection. So I have a few packs of these actually of these bright pink puffy alphas. So I'm gonna try to get through some of these. I just have one pack in the container for now, um, but I can get more if I need to from the rest of my stash. I also have these stickers left over from the On A Whim collection by Amy Tan. So I had used up a bunch of this collection last year when I was working with this On A Whim thing for a whole month. Which, if you guys don't know, last year I made a point of really trying to use up a bunch of my stash. And I had like a little crafty kit every month and it was a whole thing. So I used up a bunch of those. And then I went through like my stickers and stuff. And I just pulled out a bunch that I thought, you know, would go with this project really well. So I cut apart this little monthly thing so I can use those. Um, here. I have some little quote sheets that I thought would be nice to use um, for inspirational. Some little cut apart things, a few little puffy things. Um, this was actually from Merry Days by Crate Paper, but it says Joy in Gold, so I grabbed that. Um, some cork hearts, gold puffy hearts. Um, this was also from the Crate Paper, whatever. Merry Days, but this is Cheers, so I figure that kind of goes with Joy. And this little thing, this is Joy. This little paperclip thing says Joy. This is also, no, this is from, what is this from? Snow and Coco, I think, I don't remember, but it says Joy, so I pulled it. Some little hollow alphas. A whole bunch of simple stories, little phrasey things, random phrasey things, this whole new thing that I have in my stash for some reason still. And then I pulled out a couple of sticker books. So these are all partially used, you know, but they kind of go with the colors and the whole idea of joy and bright colors, happy fun things, all that kind of stuff that I like. So I've got all these to kind of pull from for stickers. And then I went through all of my stamps and I pulled out several here. So. This was a stamp set I bought last year. This is an Allie Edwards One Little Word stamp set. I've tried to find it. I cannot. I don't know like if I'm the only person in the world that has this one. I don't know. But it's really great. I love the scriptiness of it. And I figured that I could use this throughout the year. Um, I also pulled, what is it? This one. This is the story stamp. So I did sign up for the story stamp subscription um, for a couple of reasons. One, because I really wanted this stamp. It goes with my word and it's perfect and I love it so much. Also, I looked ahead at all these story stamp words for the rest of 2019 and they all seem like they would be amazing one like future one little words that I would probably use at some point. So I figure you know, it's a good investment for now, it's a good investment for later, it's fine, it's kind of spendy, it's kind of the only crafty thing I really want to let myself splurge on this year. Um, let's all cross our fingers for me that that actually goes to plan, but <laughs> yeah. So this was the one for December, this is the one for January, and I thought some of these would kind of work as well. Um, I know last year there was a prompt about the stories we tell ourselves, 
There was one where we tracked something like every single day that we, you know, did the thing. This is happy mind, happy life. Yes, I can. So I figured, you know, these two in particular would work really well for my one little word. I love this one. It's so great. I also pulled out this one from my stash. This one is called Mercury Retro by Everyday Explorers. I don't think this one is available anymore. Um, so I'm really glad that I got it. I love the moon. Like I think I've talked about it so many times here on my channel, but I saw this and I had to get it. I think it'll also be really nice for one little word because it says affirmation, intention, deep breaths, go with the flow, gratitude, I'm feeling, be present in the moment. Okay, I got this, figure it out. So there's like a lot of things on here that I could use for my one little word. So grab that. And then what I did was I went through the rest of my stamp sets and I pulled off all of these stamps that I thought would work really well for this project. And I just put them on some scrap pieces of acrylic and put them in here. So I'm not too worried about being able to find out where they go. Um, like a lot of these are from holiday sets. So once I pull out my holiday stuff at the end of the year, I can put these away and it'll be fine. Um, some of these other ones, I know exactly where they come from. So I'm not too worried about it. So yeah, so I've just got like be joyful, joy, um, looking for joy, finding joy, create wonder, share joy, happiness right here, enjoy the little things, enjoy the journey, stories. I love this like stitched border thing. So I've got those as well. And if I continue to go throughout the year and see more stamp sets that I have in my stash that relate to my one little word, I can just pop, you know, singular stamps on here and not have to pull out the whole stamp set. And then lastly, I pulled out a few rolls of washi. Um, so all three of these will go with the Happy Place collection. So I've got a black and white stripe, this really pretty pink with gold foilings, kind of like a marbly looking one. And then this, I don't know, minty polka dot one. So I thought these three would go really well together. They'll go really well with the Dear Lizzie Happy Place. And then I have a few rolls of washi I can just grab really quick, you know, and just reach for. Um, throughout this whole process, I'm not limiting myself to only these things that I'm showing you guys. So if I want to pull in something else from outside of this little stash I've created, that's totally fine. The purpose of the stash is just to make my life easier if I don't have time to like go rummaging through stuff. You know what I mean? So I also have this little stamp set I almost forgot to share with you guys, <laughs> sorry. So this is a one little word roller stamp and it has a lot of the same phrases like gratitude, hello, feeling right now, intentions, one day at a time, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna pop this in here as well. And then the last few things are just kind of supply things. So I figure I have plenty of these little adhesive applicators. So I'll just put one of those in the box as well as some pens. That way, again, I don't have to go searching for pens. So I have an 01 Tombow Mono Drawing Pen and an 05. And I like using these together because you can write really fine things and then kind of bold some things with the 05. I also grabbed the Tombow Mono Twin because I love to use this to write on top of photos and slick surfaces like acetate or foiling or whatever. So this has two tips and I love it for kind of the same reason that I love the two tip sizes on these two. So yeah, so that is my plan for one little word this year. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and kind of sharing of all the supplies and things that I have pulled. So I'm really looking forward to doing the whole memory decks thing for the year. I think that'll be really fun. I think the small surfaces will be really nice and kind of hopefully make my life a little bit easier while still also being fun and creative. I really like the small surfaces that I can use for this project. This will be a year long series where I share every month or every other month or whenever um, progress that I make on this project. So that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you are not already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.